<coughs> Success, of course. What else? That was the second flight after I'd given it some more back stick and reduced some nose weight. Um, I'm surprised about it, the, the, the hang angle. I've got to go home and check it. I've had, so I've had two five minute flights, so that's, that's got to be successful. ROG run off the ground was as, took itself off virtually, just leveled off on the stick and applied power, just rolled out. Had to apply full back stick to the entire flight, uh, and that's after cranking more in. So it's got to be a problem with the angle, or maybe even the down thrust on the motor. Landing, <coughs> I tried to do an, <coughs> an auto rotate because on the first landing it came in pretty steep. So I came in with an auto rotate, I dropped it, stopped it right up above me, brought it down, killed the power. It came down, but the nose was coming in pretty steep. So I had to apply some power. When I applied power, the nose lifted and I just plonked it over there on the, on the field. So um, it's all good. So home now and make some slight adjustments. And I have to build, finish the cowl off at the front. Take this firewall off. Oh, put a nice radius on there. And I've got a nice motor at home. One that uh, Rich made as a scale version many years ago. So um, all in all, this, this is not a, a, a new model, by the way. If the, the only two people that come across this should be uh, Rich Harris and Joe Jokadopoulos. And if they want to remember, most likely about three or four years ago, I sent them pictures of this build. <coughs> I built it. Came out here on a three cell and a small motor, and it just wouldn't, wouldn't do anything. And I put it aside and forgot all about it until Werner started making his big one. I thought, gee, I wouldn't mind one of those. So um, I thought, hang on, I've got one. So I dusted it off and put a four cell and a bigger donk in it now. And it cruises around very nicely, very nicely. A few trim adjustments. I'm happy. Okay, now the revolver comes out next.